Over the past several decades, more and more anglers have learned to appreciate the unique characteristics of the flathead catfish. Now, when this tenacious predator goes on the prowl, everything from carp and suckers, even other catfish, need fear demise, crushed by massive gaping jaws. But like all predatory fish that can grow very old and very big, flathead catfish in many waters are vulnerable to overharvest. On this day, let's catch and release a few as we also discuss conservation aspects for this magnificent fish. Good fish. Nice one. There we go. Nice. All right. He's a pretty one. There you go, Brian. Got another one going. Here he goes. Fish on. Nice. Nice and peaceful out here, talking, watching the stars. And, and they just all of a sudden turned out. Look at that. Not quite as big as okay. yours. There we go. I don't get the quarter. Look at that. Two nice fish. What? Two minutes time. It wasn't very long. Nice, nice job. job. Nice job. Whoa. All right. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Oh, nice fish, huh? Look at that. Well, There's a pair. Mine's not as big as yours, but the guest always catches Man, the largest. Man, what a one. tremendous sport fish. <laughs> Man, one it's, of the most fantastic sport fish in the country. It is. You know, these things are so widely distributed and available to so many anglers. They fight like crazy. They're a challenge to catch. And a lot more people are seeking trophy flatheads now, aren't they, Brian? Well, that's just like my guiding. It's, it's Every year it just gets busier and busier. More people are going out uh, looking for flatheads every Specialized. Year. specialized Getting more yeah. specialized. Yep. And yeah. you know, with any big fish like this, any species that gets big like this, these apex predators, there's always some caution we need in terms of, you know, trying to avoid over harvest on these guys. And there are certain times of year when they're particularly vulnerable, but yeah, man, exactly. what, a, what a couple nice fish. Gave you a good fight, didn't it? Sure did. All right. <laughs> Fishing close to wood piles, is that the standard program for, yeah, we've got for a, a larger river system nice like this? Nice pile of wood right behind us in the dark there, and, and uh, we're putting that sucker as close to the wood as we can uh, with our slip rig set up, and, and uh, they're letting the fish come out to grab that sucker. And yeah, hang on. There's another one. Rob, that, that was quick. Again. That was quick. <laughs> Ooh, he looks like a little better one. <laughs> there we go. This is what flathead fishing's all about. Got any size to him? Yeah, I think so. Right. Feels nice. Got a nice bend to the rod. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Whoa, nice fish. <laughs> Still got a little gumption Where is left. he, Rob? Still in on there? Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> got him. There's nice. nothing like, you know, you're just hand to hand bulldog and a big flathead down in the wood. It's That's great. It. The old tug of war. Hey. Yep. There he goes. Got it right in the right in the whisker. Boy, these troll car hooks haven't missed yet, you know. So far, so Boy, good. They've, just... been, they've been uh, sharp, staying sharp, and they can, well, we're fishing in a lot of wood. Yeah. That can dull a hook quickly. Just surgically sharp, and when you have big baits on here, and you just want to guarantee setting somewhere in this mouth. That's it's been working really well. Exactly. What a tremendous fish, huh? Beautiful. Just a fantastic species. I love flatheads. One of our favorite Delorids. <laughs> and you know, we take care of these fisheries, they're gonna last for us. There he goes. 